Hi everyone, welcome back to Thermatography and today in this video I'm going to show you this double exposure photography and I will show the first version in Photoshop and second rough mobile editing in PixArt but the Photoshop version will be much more better and professional. So let's begin this video. This is a very uh, simple process in Photoshop uh, and in uh, Pixar it will be a little bit um, harder and it doesn't look so good but still you can get some this kind of effects. So at first uh, I'm going to open the Google Drive folder. I will provide you these two pictures. You can use it and do your editing. So first let's open the portrait picture you can see and go to the scrub section and make it four to five this will be an instagram version of a photo so i'm press here right correct and then go to this layer right mouse button and duplicate layer or simply press ctrl z so uh, i will name it uh, original So, uh, portrait. portrait. Okay. So, for this purpose, you need to make a very rough selection. So, you go to this uh, button and play. You can either use quick selection tool, but for this purpose, I'm going to use a magnetic lasso tool because you don't need a very correct selection. So, simply press the left button of mouse and then simply draw it and it will automatically adjust the edges so as I say you don't need a very uh, correct selection just to simply make it okay look like this you know, just, just make a very rough selection very rough selection you know, just to be rough selection so you can also zoom in and make a selection but uh, for this purpose I am not going to zoom in because I don't need a very exact uh, selection so now you have a selection you can go to refine edge and add some feather look it just doesn't look so good but it doesn't matter uh, you, you, you can simply lift like this and press ok so look fine is and then you can press ctrl z so right now you can see it will separate my layer so now the magic begins when you uh, import file open and this double exposure here okay or uh, let me file place embedded so it will open in the same uh, location so look right now it looks good now uh, let's change the opacity to like so and you can adjust the resolution by pressing ctrl t and then hold the shift button click here and you can enlarge it like maybe this so and now go to this icon uh, go to this layer sorry and then press ctrl so look press ctrl and it make a selection now go to this double exposure layer and simply press this layer mask so look now somehow look uh, like a double exposure photography but as i say we need to refine these edges it doesn't look so good now click in this layer mask and go to this brush tool and change the size of the bra, something like this, or maybe a little bit. Mm, let's see. 
this will look cool. And then change the opacity to like 65% and simply remove this in these edges. So I'm just uh, refining the edges. So simply paint in this. that it looks a little bit better I kind of like the hair style like this one so I'm going to lift it otherwise we can go to this invert mask and place uh, the opacity and then right. so this will bring the hair back if you import it this will reduce. So, look. I will left uh, like this. Or maybe I'm going to increase the opacity. Look. You need to play with the opacity and then simply adjust it. Maybe I will add some more details here. Maybe not in the eyes, so let's import this again. And uh, maybe that, one's, that doesn't look so cool. So let's just uh, simply reduce the opacity. And this looks better. Uh, but I want to make it like a bluish pipe, so for this purpose, look before and after I'm going here and then I'm going to click here and color look up and make it look like night from day or moonlight so look now it looks blue is maybe put it above here and then Reduce the opacity like this. Or maybe I'm going to just change the portrait like this and uh, make it more like this. So I like this. Simply play with the color. And maybe I'm going to add another layer solid color and make it a little bit blues okay and then change the blending mode to exclusion and simply put it above sorry above this layer and send the opacity so good and then just to give some blue pipe so and maybe reduce the opacity like this so right now it looks a little bit better see just play with the uh, if you don't like you can simply ignore it and then uh, I'm just going to let it like this then I'm going to press ctrl shift alt e this will uh, combine all the layer and then let's do some uh, color correction uh, let's duplicate this layer ctrl z go to filter camera raw filter and then simply boost this picture and contrast highlights exposures shadows uh, white like 
clarity a little bit of two heads and then maybe I'm going to add some orange to the effects okay. and then simply reduce the saturation a little bit and add some dignity to see look okay so look at this this is the color correction before and after maybe I'm going to boost it a little bit by pressing control new layer and then uh, press D so it will make it black and white press the brush tool and then make an opacity of 100 and then Increase the size. So, and I want to make this part a little bit brighter. So, for this purpose, I'm going to now select white here, click this and white, and simply cross it. I want to make it a little bit bright, and I'm going to make it look a little bit brighter. So, so this part I'm going to make it a little bit brighter and then embody it and I want to make it a little bit more darker so look at this it looks really funny right now but let the magic begin by pressing the blending mode overlay and then reduce the opacity so look at that you can simply make our eyes more focused on the subject so look before after or maybe i'm going to make this part as a little bit brighter so that's it guys that is the uh, basic editing in uh, photoshop so let me see it again from beginning so original then you make a copy you make a selection and then uh, you add a color lookup and then you add a double exposure effect with this layer mask if you want some blue spot you add a blue color gradient and this adds, adds some cinematic uh, you can see this add some cinematic pipes and then a basic uh, color correction using a filter and camera raw filter and then final returns and you can save this picture for instagram resolution photo 5 so this is the basic uh, editing in photoshop and i'm going to show a very rough tutorial in pixar uh, the basic problem of pixar is it's hard to do a layer mask in the trial version so but let me show you in Pixar. Pixar, this is the sound from the iPhone. I don't know if it's good. Uh, so it would not be so good compared to Photoshop, but uh, in this uh, trial version. So, but I'm going to show you roughly. Uh, just uh, upload this picture okay and then we need to make it a little bit darker so go to tools adjust reduce the exposure add some contrast reduce the saturation make it a little bit black and white and uh, let me reduce more brightness apply if i can add some color Make it a little bit blue. So apply and then go to cutout portion. Look, it automatically makes some adjustment, but it is not so fine. So look, still there are some feather which I don't like, but uh, you cannot make it look like Photoshop. So go to save and then go to fit now look and go to ratio make it 3 to 4 
for and still see some feather apply now go to add photo and uh, add make it bigger than the opacity so you can see like this maybe so now go to blend mode and make it a screen so this is what you will get from the photoshop version so apply or maybe you can make some adjustment like adjust i will reduce some highlight i think highlight uh, just some shadow temperature maybe a little bit so clarity this is what i get from uh, uh, mobile version so look at this is the feather so i don't like this uh, from pixart you need to have a paid version to refine this is but i am right now using a trial version but still you can try and have a look of this effect and simply save it so that's it guys that was the basic tutorial about double exposure photography i would suggest you to edit from photoshop rather than pixar because photoshop gives a very professional vibe for pixar i would suggest you to buy that app so that you can use uh, some other function and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon also and maybe i will post now daily some uh, tutorial videos and subscribe my channel bye bye have a nice time